Hi everyone. Welcome to our spiral meditation in spiritual time to reflect on the three spring months in the Hebrew calendar, Nisan, Iyar, and Sivan. As we prepare to enter the three months of the summer, Tamas, Av, and Elul, and allowing ourselves to embody the spiral and what it means to be held and transformed through sacred time via the Hebrew calendar. So one thing I want to mention before we start is these next three months ahead, we're heading towards the closing of the year in Elul, which is the Achrit Shana, the final month in the Hebrew calendar, starting with Tishrei, the solar start. And the root of Elul has the word Lul in it. And this points to the spiral staircase. Lul means spiral staircase. In the temple, King Solomon, King Shlomo, crafted a spiral staircase in the middle of the temple not just for aesthetics, but to bring in the spiritual concept of cyclical time. The Hebrew calendar is based on the cyclical model that every year we come back, we circle to the same energies each Hebrew month, but yet it's a spiral in that we go higher and we also go deeper. Our body remembers Every time we come back to Sivan, for example, our body remembers what it feels like to receive in the wilderness, deeper and deeper. So this is the concept of the Lul, the spiral staircase. And by the time we close the year in Elul, we've spiraled through all of the spiritual energies, the dimensions in each of the Hebrew months. So to begin, I'll invite you to find a comfortable but upright seat. You can place your feet on the ground or sit comfortably however you choose. Let, let yourself land in the present moment, arrive fully into your body and into the chair or the earth beneath you. See if you can soften a little bit deeper. If you can let go to fully immerse yourself in the present moment. And we'll bring the visual of the spiral staircase in our bodies because our body is a microcosm of the temple, the Beis Hamikdash. Let's start at the crown where the top of the staircase begins and imagine that the spiral wraps around your throat, around the heart, wraps around the center column of your body into the ground, your yesod, your root below. The top of the staircase reaches towards the heavens, like in Jacob's ladder. And the bottom of your spiral staircase goes deep into the earth and below and beneath the ground. Perhaps your body expands and lengthens. And we'll begin to breathe Inhaling up your spiral staircase from root to crown. And exhaling from crown to root, letting the breath spiral around your center column. Maybe your body moves in that spiral motion. Maybe you're still. 
but let that breath wrap around. And as your breath extends and lengthens, you can imagine the breath leaving the crown into the divine realms above. And on the exhale, it goes deep and beneath the earth into the realms below. What does it feel like to embody the spiral? To let yourself be transformed by the movement, whether it's just the movement of your breath or awareness, or the movements of your body as they spiral down and they spiral up. And we'll allow that spiral to take us back into time. A few months ago, where we began the spring months in Nisan, where we left our inner Egypt, our place of confinements, and we sought freedom and expansion. Notice where in your body feels open, feels a little bit more free. Perhaps we still notice constriction in our inner Egypts. Maybe we haven't left them completely, but we become more aware of what they are and how they limit us. Keep breathing up the spiral column and down the spiral column. Letting the energy of Nissan circulate and animate your full body with every breath. Maybe we feel those buds of Nissan, those very small beginnings of blossoming, the hope. Breathing Nissan in and breathing Nissan out. And then we'll journey towards the next month in the calendar, the month of ER, where we sought balance and alignment, where we engaged in healing ourselves and offered healing to others. This month of ER, also known as the month of Ziv, the month of radiance, we began to brighten and illuminate our being with the spirit, with the divine energies. Notice in your body how we naturally go towards alignment, the center column of the tree of life that we yearned for in ER, the das in the brain, the teferit heart, and the yesod our upper skull and our lower skull and the heart between. Feeling that balance in our body and striving for that balance in our system with the spiral, with the divine energies. Perhaps there's parts of you that still is yearning for balance. Reflecting on ER, maybe you're proud 
of something you healed or inner work that you did accomplish. Maybe there was a sphira, a divine energy that you resonated more deeply with. Let's take a deep inhale, bringing in the healing, balancing energy of ER, and exhaling, ER healing out into the world. Know that we can always find healing throughout the year, rooted in the sacred words, Ani Hashem Rofecha, I am God, your healer the God inside and the God all around us, the divine energy pulsating within and embracing us. In ER, the mana began to fall, the bread of heaven, the angel food, Miriam's well nourished us in the desert. And coming back to our spiral, after so much journeying, so much inner work and process, we moved forward to the month of Sivan, where we landed at the foot of the mountain in the Midbar, in the open expansive desert and we were ready to receive in collective unity the wisdom of the Torah. And our bodies became open and expansive like the Midbar. Notice in your body if you did accomplish some expansion from that desert space, where in your body feels the quietude, the silence? Perhaps that cold dama daka, that still small voice, emerged from the silent desert space. We learn to trust the inner voice, the inner wisdom that comes from quietude. Reflect on the wisdom that you did receive in Sivan and the wisdom you're still hoping to receive throughout the year, knowing that we're receiving the Torah every single day of our lives. Take a deep inhale in, bringing Sivan into your body, into your heart, opening up like the desert and exhaling that quiet, silent, still wisdom out through your body. Closing these three spring months we can ask ourselves, what about these months do we wish to leave behind and let go as we move forward to the summer months? And what do we wish to bring with us forward into Tamas, Av, and Elo? Trusting our bodies, trusting the spiral that holds us and that transforms us. We'll take a deep collective inhale and a long lengthening exhale into the three summer months ahead of us. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes so bright, entering into Tamos together remembering that you're not alone we're all journeying and the more we can connect to our inner spiral the more we can 
expand ourselves from our narrow places to this collective consciousness and let the Hebrew calendar truly transform us. Thank you for practicing.